Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of February general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Virgo, my rising sign, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song I heard was Playground Love by Air. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, that song was on a soundtrack of Virgin Suicides, and that was a deeply, some people will see disturbing. I understood the poetic purpose of it. If you haven't watched it, watch it. But I will tell you, it's kind of like, it's very gloomy, it is. But it was on a soundtrack of that movie. I'm going to tell you, First of all, because the name of the group is Air, it's a band, and it was a lot of members, so I didn't get all these Zodiac signs, but some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I will tell you, you guys did pop up in Gemini's reading, so if you are associated with a Gemini, go ahead and check out Gemini's reading, because you guys did pop up. I did mention you all in their reading. Um, also, Playground makes me think about children, so I feel like this could be someone who is coming back into your life that you grew up with. You possibly went to elementary school, high school, whatever. Somebody that you could have known, you know, when you were younger. Also, playground love makes me think about somebody that you may have had children with when you were very young, and you know, you have, you know, how you kind of jump in situations. You just feel like this is gonna be the love of your life forever, and it just doesn't work out. Somebody could be coming back into your life, or also playground. Somebody could have been playing games, and it's like. Because, see, it, it's, it was all a game in that movie also. And I don't want to give it away in the event that you haven't watched it and you want to check it out. It was like, it was it was some mental game playing in that movie also. You know, that ultimately led to quite a few demises, if you will. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna give it away, but somebody could have been playing games also and it affected someone's life overall and not as dramatic as that movie was. But it affected their... It, it just put an ending. Let's, let me just say it like that. It caused some type of ending because there was multiple endings in that movie. But um, somebody's name could be Chris, Kristen. Yeah, Kristen Dunst. She starred in that movie. She was one of the main characters in that. Somebody's name could be Kristen or Christian also. So we're going to see what we get for you guys today. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the Hierophant. Um, the Hermit, I'm sorry. The Hermit. And see, because I said Hierophant, some of you guys could be dealing with Taurus. We're going to get your major arcana, the Hermit, and then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Um, you guys showed up in... Um, Taurus is reading also, so if you're associated with Taurus, go ahead and watch it. And some of you guys could definitely be associated with Taurus because you have the high priestess, Taurus, Libra, and also Aries. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Again, we want your major arcana, which is the hermit, okay? So now currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of swords, yeah. See, I feel like somebody is like mental entrapment, and that's how those girls was in that movie, for real. They, if, whew, yeah, okay. And then I say the name of the group who sang this song is Air, and you got an Air sign card here for sure. Okay, some of you guys could be August Virgos with um strong Air sign placements in your chart, or you could always be in your head, which makes a lot of sense because Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is about the communication and mental. Um, you see how she feels trapped and bound. That's exactly how those girls felt in that movie. Go ahead and look at that movie. It, again, if if you don't. <sighs> I don't know how to explain it because I'm not going to say it. it is, it's a gloomy movie, but I under, like I said, I understand the poetic purposes of it. And those those girls definitely felt restrained, like they weren't able to move forward. For some of you guys, there could have been an ending with somebody because you weren't, something was keeping you restrained. Somebody could have actually literally been behind bars and that kept someone from being together. I'm getting that also. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. <laughs> and I said, the hair font. And look, Three cards away. Yeah, two cards rather. Wow. Okay. So again, we want to get the Hermit. There you go. And it, it didn't take long for it to show up. We got this far. Okay. So the card right in front of you. Three of Wands right behind you. Five of Wands. And then Strength card. Some of you got looking. There you go with them damn chains again. Leo. So somebody, you see the chains around his throat. Somebody was like not able to speak. So what's communication and mental? For one reason or another, somebody was not able to speak to someone. You know, because it was other people who were involved in your situation that caused some type of ending. Either in the past or someone that you're dealing with now, you weren't able to talk to this person because there's other people involved. And you got Leo here. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Caused heartbreak. Wow. Three of swords. A fire sign could have definitely been involved. You know, this person could have been the obstacle. You see that snake is the obstacle on his path here. 
Someone could be born the year of the snake. A fire sign could have definitely been an obstacle in your relationship. You see how the ship is coming towards them, or it could have been coming towards them, but the ship is kind of veering in a different direction, isn't it? So a fire sign could be um, a hindrance in a relationship. Also, I'm going to say again, somebody could be coming back towards you from the past because th that ship is leaving something behind. And even here, you have wands behind him. I'm, it's, it's interesting. I'm almost, I'm almost getting 20 years ago. Like I said, I feel like this is somebody, for some of you guys, this is somebody that you grew up with. And because you do have a strong female figure here, like say, for instance, you were a child and you were a teenager and they told you like, you can't talk to this person, you can't date this person, something like that. And I know this is very specific, but I have to because I'm getting that. A mother figure could have like stepped in, especially if the mother figure was a Leo, could have stepped in and was like, no, you know, you can't be with this person or this, this person uprooted them and, and made you all move to a different location. And so things were cut off. And again, that won't apply to everyone, but I did have to put that out there. Someone's not getting enough sleep either. Sleepless nights thinking about somebody. Is, yeah, sleepless nights thinking about somebody. I'm also, because she has that eye mask on, some of you guys, to help you sleep, getting the eye mask may be helpful also. Because I am getting something with sleepless nights. I cannot sleep without a, a sleeping mask. I, there's no way. I just can't do it. It's something about the pressure on the eye mask on, on my eyes that helps me sleep. So some of you guys may need to get that. I'm also, you know, like how when they say like the weighted blanket, so I'm, somebody is having sleepless nights, okay? Because I'm being guided to like sleep techniques or things that can help you rest. They have like weighted blankets. Like it, it's not really heavy, but it, it weighs down on your body and it helps you. It kind of lulls you to sleep. Somebody definitely needs that also because I'm getting that very strong, you know, like fighting your sleep or it's like you want to sleep, but your, your, your mind is so active. You see how all this activity, someone's mind is so active and it has to do with a relationship, okay? Or a loss of one. Is what I'm getting also. Bottom of the deck. Fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. Something new is coming in for you guys. Okay, so the Playground Love. Also with the, you know, the name of that song, Playground Love. I feel like <sighs> taking a leap of faith into something new is like, okay, don't be like, you know how kids just jump into things and they don't really think about the outcome. They just jump into something. They're saying be mindful about that also. You also can have people who oppose your forward movement into a new situation as well. You got a lot of fire here. You got Aquarius Aries here also. And remember I was talking about that Leo because you had a strength card. I'm just noticing that sun right there. Mm -hmm. Definitely Leo and Aries I'm getting. Let's part the deck so we can shuffle. Wow, something coming in quickly. Yeah, somebody may be telling you like you're jumping the gun. You're jumping into something too soon. You got Sag energy. A lot of fire. You got nothing but fire surrounding you right now. So somebody's moving into something very quickly. And I feel like there's people who oppose of it. In the past, this could have been parents, but in this time frame right now, if you are completely single, you can have a new relationship coming in towards you in March. And people can oppose it because they can feel like you're moving too fast. You're jumping into something too quickly. Getting that also. Yeah, look at that. Something definitely with a Leo. I'm going to tell you also, if you have children with a Leo, this Leo may be telling you like, yeah, because this could be. I'm, I'm really getting outside interference. Like, you have friends who don't support it. And then, if you have children with a Leo, this Leo could be like, I don't want your, my child around this new person. This y'all only been together for five minutes. Like, why would you move in together and things like that? You got somebody hating on you. Bottom of the deck, you got the Queen of Swords. But I feel like ultimately, you're going to make a decision. I'm going to say again, the name of the group is Air. You got Air here again. Somebody's going to make an indefinite decision. Like, I'm going to do things my way. I'm getting that also. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm just going to clarify for the three of wands. Definitely some Gemini energy for some of you guys. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I like it. You have the five of swords in reverse. You have the five of wands here and the five of swords in reverse. Like somebody may want to... I feel like this is in reverse because just like we had that queen of swords on right, it's like this person may want drama with you or try to keep up a drama, but you ain't even going to entertain it. You're not even entertaining it in reverse. Like... Uh, that ship is sailed. Whatever we had, look, you see how his back is facing. I'm not entertaining this with you. You guys aren't even going to entertain other people's opinions because I feel like other people are giving opinions where it's not asked. And you're like, I don't give a damn. Again, I'm going to say because I keep hearing over and over again the name of the song, Playground Love. <sighs> Honestly, somebody may be right. Somebody may be right. Like you could be jumping into something too quickly. Or you did, and now you're reflecting on that for someone out there. I also feel like somebody has something to say to you, and they've been fighting it. 
I don't feel like they're going to be able to fight it anymore. Because swords, communication, and mental, right? Uh, right? He's he's victorious and fighting something off in reverse. He is not. So somebody's been trying to fight some type of communication. So you guys definitely have some communication coming in within the next three days, three weeks, or in, like I said, March, specifically in Aries season. Bottom of the deck, you got the will of fortune in reverse. The opposite of fortune is misfortune or something un being unfortunate. And it's like, unfortunately for a lot of you guys, you don't have people supporting you with this, this situation here. Again, strong Leo, okay? Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. You guys have a lot of opposition when it comes to your personal life. You feel like, why are people so worried about what I'm doing? Why do people want to control my narrative? And I don't feel like you're going to let it happen because you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen is someone who is, especially the Queen of Swords, they're definitive. They know what they want. They're, they don't give a damn about your opinions, right? They're, they're going to do what they want to do. Let's get a clarifier for the Five of Wands. For Virgo, Sun, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay. Yep. You. Oh, wow. So, I'm going to say again, some of you guys are going to move in a direction. You're going to do what the fuck you want to. If you notice, he's pushing that boat. She's sitting here, but her head is down. Okay, you see what's peeking out right here? You got the six of swords, now you got the six of pentacles, six, six. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Capricorn, or somebody could feel like you guys keep jumping in um, toxic relationships, or your new person could feel like that. Wow, it's definitely something involving a Leo. <laughs> so there could definitely be a child involved. You got this baby here, then there's a child right there. Some of you all, this situation could be involving a... Um, your baby's five a year, and your family don't support it. Here, find reverse Taurus again. Your family doesn't support it. That's a major icon, so that's a definite energy. Some, you have family who does not, possibly a, a, a father figure does not support this, or you could be, or the father figure could be a Taurus, and it's like, you may have, I'm getting definitely, some of you guys could have got back with someone. And you may be ashamed. You may not be telling people because you know it's going to cause some type of drama. Like, especially if there was an ending that was full of drama and family had to get involved. You may not be telling someone or somebody in this situation is not telling someone that they're back with someone from their past because he's behind her, which is the past. Male or female, just put it how it applies in your situation. And, uh, and somebody's argument could be like, well, I'm doing it for my child or children. But there's shame here because if you notice how the head is down, the head is down like there's some shame. And it's interesting because you got the five of swords in reverse and you got the six. So five to the six is going in this direction here. So yeah, playground love again is making me think about a child. Somebody could feel like you, you're doing something childishly or foolishly. You already had the fool card. Somebody could be accusing you of that. And then also, like I said, fighting some type of communication. But communication is coming in because it's going towards the future here. I feel like people are going to be finding out that someone reconciled with someone from the past and, and they're not going to be happy about it. But it doesn't matter again. This is your life, you know. This is your life. Or whoever this relates to. Because again, this could be, say for instance, this is not your family doing this and you're dating someone or you go back to someone. If it was drama with that other person's family, this family is going to be in an uproar. Like literally going to be in an uproar. That things that this person has returned to you. Because it's like this ship could be returning to you. Or if there's a new relationship coming in, specifically in March, if you could be, if you're completely single... It could be drama associated with this new person. It could be drama like very, very soon on. Because remember, we had the Knight of Wands. Like very immediately, it could be evident that there's drama. You know, I'm getting that also. Okay. So, Virgo, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.